Good morning traders, Joseph here from ACAP. So uh, we're just going to go over um, some of last night's action and just have a quick look at uh, what's been happening so far this morning. A very strange one uh, overnight. Um, we can just see the Aussie dollar in front of us. Uh, risk had some pretty good gains to the USD and the yen heading towards the New York session, but they were all uh, trimmed and reversed after the USD stage, the late session comeback. So there wasn't a lot of key uh, data out last night, but um, some of the, uh, the main points were basically trade still continues to send, uh, dictate what's going on in the markets to a pretty strong degree. Uh, it did have a very a bit of an interesting effect on the markets last night. So hopes came back for a trade deal, but that didn't really help uh, risk currencies as they um, fell away to the dollar and the yen. But it, on the other side, it did weaken gold. Uh, US stocks finished the session um, slightly lower. We saw the Dow and uh, 54 points down, the S&P lost close to 5 points and the Nasdaq lost just over 20 points. Um, the ASX has started this morning's trade higher. Um, it's trading 35.20 points higher. It's roughly half a percent. So it's a bit of a fight back on the ASX 200. After a couple pretty uh, testing days and some fair selling, especially on uh, Wednesday uh, after what came out about Westpac, which led to some pretty heavy losses. So going um, back over to currencies today, um, we can see today that the Aussie is slightly higher after uh, really giving back um, the earlier rally overnight and then ending quite, pretty much sharply lower. And this is a, across the board, so the Euro as well. We can see we had that very nice strong rally which fell away and we had a pretty uh, ended up with a pretty red day and this is the same on the pound as well so we did we were looking at possible you know, continuations but we'll have to give them more time um, the pounds showing a bit of vigor this morning but whether that carries through or not we'll just have to wait and see as there is a fair bit of data coming out tonight but we'll get to that in a moment so we'll just have a look at uh, gold gold failed to hold um bit of a morning gap open higher and it did fall away and ended up um having a pretty sharp losses for the day as well so again we're still sitting at this level here um, we have seen buyers defending this point down here pretty uh, solidly over the last four sessions this is the first time it's really closed in there we did see a bit of a pullback there so we're going to wait and see is this finally the continuation lower for gold after this lower low we've got a lower high here um, and will we see a move down to test this level or will we stabilize again at this level and see buyers come back in so that's um one of the ones we're watching um oil had a fantastic night um it hit a new two month highs um it broke above this level of resistance here they've been holding it back basically for a couple of weeks and we did see you know continuation from um, Thursday, sorry from Wednesday's rally another really strong rally so this has all come down to trade optimism for the trade deal and basically traders looking at OPEC, OPEC um, they're going for deeper and longer uh, production cuts so that was the real fuel for oil yesterday now the dollar CAD um, finally broke sway uh, it broke a two-day winning streak and finished lower this is basically after the um, Governor of the Bank of Canada said that the monetary policy is in a pretty good stable place at the moment so that gave the CAD a bit of a boost and sent um, the dollar a dollar to it overnight. So oil was another factor as well that contributed to the CAD rising so a big spike in oil. Tonight we are just going to have a look at what's coming up tonight news wise. Um, it's going to be a busy night starting basically from um, 7.15 so we have a lot of key PMI is coming out of Europe, so we have the French Flash Services PMI. Um, we have um, the ECB president speaking as well. Um, and then at 7.30 we have the German Flash Manufacturing PMI and the German Flash Services PMI. And at 8 o'clock we have the Flash Manufacturing PMI. And from 8.30 we have the UK Flash Manufacturing PMI and Flash Services PMI. And it doesn't end there. At 12.30 a.m. Um, we have core retail sales and retail sales coming out of Canada and then at 1.45 a.m. we have the flash manufacturing PMI coming out from the US so that's all in Australian Eastern Daylight Time so 
big night coming up dollar wise and um, we'll be watching gold just to see how that goes tonight and it could be influenced by the uh, USD manufacturing PMI and keep an eye on the euro and the pound during the uh, services and manufacturing PMI data that comes out from um, early this evening. So have a fantastic trading day and um, have a great weekend. Thanks. Bye.